Do you own commercial property in Denton County? Have you received a notice from the Central Appraisal District asking about your sale price? Watch this video to find out what your legal obligations are and if you need to return this very important document. Ron from Ron Rorty Law and we're a commercial real estate firm in North Texas and we help commercial property owners handle all aspects of managing, investing, and maintaining and leases for their commercial properties such as office, industrial, multifamily, or hotel properties. Smash that like button and check out the link below if you have any legal questions. Let's get to it. So you may have received this uh, scary looking document from the Denton Central Appraisal District. It you know, is an official correspondence. Um, however, when we look at this, it is not anything that you actually have a legal obligation to return. So it asks for the date of the purchase. It asks for the transaction value, you know, the purchase price. That's private information exchanged between a buyer and a seller. And specifically, if you look at your own PSA, you may have an affirmative obligation to keep it confidential and only share it with you know, necessary parties like your lawyer, your accountant for tax returns, um, estate planning, that sort of thing. So it, it can actually be a negative and you want to be sure that you're responding to official documents um, only as necessary. Because what the appraisal district is trying to do is they're trying to get more private information about the value of the sales so that they can raise your assessed value and increase your property taxes. That's it. That's the only purpose for this letter. So let's dig into this and, and look a little more. So we have the date of purchase, um, contract price. Does it include any personal property, right? That's a very important question for the appraisal district because just because you pay five million for a property, if it includes a million dollars worth of inventory, a million dollars worth of heavy lifting equipment, forklifts or trucks, you know, that can get muddled in terms of their assessment. And it's important for them to be able to break down just for the purchase price it doesn't really dig into how it's divided up. Um, in addition, you know, they look at cash versus financing. Now, if you do have debt on your property, you may have a recorded deed of trust or a promissory note that does reflect the financed amount. However, that amount alone really is only a guessing game. They don't really know what your LTV, your loan to value ratio was. Um, they don't know if there's other unrecorded debt and they don't know if it's a installment sale. So maybe you've only purchased the initial property for three million and you put two million of debt on there, but you may have a term that obligates you to pay the seller an additional million dollars, say a year from now or two years from now. So again, they're asking about this if it's cash, finance. Here you can see the financing, seller financing. That's really kind of a secretive um, structure that they cannot get that information. And so you as a property owner, I mean, you can decide if you want to do this. This is purely voluntary if it's not prohibited in the PSA. But do you want to help them do their job for them and allow them basically to give a spot check against their own assessment? Um, for me, I, I don't think so. I recommend that all my clients, you know, take this and uh, just uh, put it in the trash. All right. Well, that's that short video. Um, if you have commercial property in Denton County, uh, feel free to reach out to us and let us know if we can help with any leasing or acquisition questions. We'll see you next time. Smash that link. Smash that link.